Hello students, uh, this is uh, Arjuna Nishan Gandhara sir, Assistant Professor, Department of Microbiology, C.K. Thakur College, New Panvel. Today we are going to be talking about the patent. Now, what is the meaning, or what are the learning outcomes of this topic? You can be introduced the concept of the patent, now why the protect and idea, you can be filing the patents and how you will get the value from your patent. So, these are the content of the today's topic. Now, what is the meaning of the patent? Patents are the right, right granted of an invention which is a product or maybe it is a process that is provide a new way to bring something of a new technical solution for the problem. So, whether or not patent can be granted for the computer software is debatable. Now, the inventor has to file the patent first, then make his invention as a public. Then patent has to be applied to the each country for the inventor, the claim and his right in that country. Example of the group of the scientists, if you are working on a drug, which is development in a drug development in a Himalaya drug for a salary, the patent of the drug development is given to the Himalaya drug, but not to the scientist. The drug may be having the pro number of the patents, like as the patent for the composition, process and product, etc. Now, types of patents. Now, there are the three basic types of the patent. First is a utility patent, design patent and a plant patent. Utility and a plant patent is application can be provisional and a non-provisional. Provisional application may not be filed for a design invention. So, first we will take the utility patent. So, this may be the granted to the anyone who invents or discovers a new and useful process, machine, articles, manu then manufactures or the completion of the matter. Now, design patent, they with this laws are provided to granting the design of the patent to anyone who has invented a new original ornamental design for an article of the manufacture. Third is the plant patent. The law also provides a granting a patent to anyone which is inventing or the discovering any ends or section reproducing any distinct and a new variety of the plant. This includes the cultivated for mutant hybrids and a newly found seedling, etc. So, likewise, these are the three types of the patent. One is a utility, design and a plant patent. Now, what are the requirements of the patents? Now, there are the four requirements of patent. First is the utility, that invention must be the useful. Then second is the novelty, whatever the invention is there, that should be the novel one, that is not already known. Non-obvious must not be, uh, that whatever the uh, inventions are there, that must not be obvious to the person having the ordinary skill in the art. And invention must be described and enabled in an application form. Now, who can be patented? Any invention can be product or the process that provides a new way to doing the something or offer a new technical solution to the something. So, that person is going to be patented. So, not necessarily here we have having the age group or we are having the gender group. Anyone if with the new things that will be get patented. Now, who can apply the patents? The inventor may make an application either they can be make an application alone or they can make an application with a group once or a jointly with the another person or he is with the assigning or the major representative of any disease any disease uh, inventor of his assignment so essential docu document which is required for the patent application there are the two documents which is known as the patent specification and that is including one is the provisional specification and second is the complete specification. So, these two documents are basically required for the application of the patent. Now, in case of the provisional specification, when you are going to use filing, whatever the inventions are there, that invention delay is expected in a submitting full and specific description of the invention. For example, it is followed by the after complete specification. Now, complete specification, whatever is given for that components is submitted within a 12 months or the filing the provisional specification. Now, in case of the complete specification, we require the certain number of the documentation. So, first the title of invention, then you have to write down about the field of invention, then you have to write down about the background of the invention regarding to the drawbacks associated with the known art. Then you have to write down about the objectives or the object of the invention, statement of the invention, or the brief summary about the invention, a brief description about the accompanying the drawing, and the detailed description of the invention with the reference to the drawing or the example, and you have to give the claims according to the, your patent. Now, how you are getting the grant of the patent? So, first you have to file the patent in a patent office, then controllers make the allotment of the application to the examiner. 
examiner determine the uh, procedure validity and the compliance of this afterwards examination of patent application is going to be done then prior art is going to be search in covering the publication in india and abroad is done and the first examination report is getting within a 18 to 24 uh, months then afterwards objections are going to be take place now if examiner is to be communicated to the applicant for the compliance if the requirements are compiled with the claims patents are published in a gazette to the patent office the section 25 allows the opposition of any member of the public and if the applicant overcome the opposition and the examiner accept the submitted complete specification by the advertising in the official gazette so you can be objected by any of four then after accepting the complete specification either they will be the claim or the opposition the patent shall be with the granted to the applicant and afterwards the controller shall seal the patent with the seal of patent office and a date of sealing patent is entered into the register now who is going to be taking the opposition so opposition is any person interested can be offered the grant of the patent within a six months from the date of the publication in official journal that is pre grant opposition or one year of the grant of patent which is the post grant opposition so what opposition is going to be raised so opposition can be raised when the patent is wrongfully obtained from the person the opposing the application invention is the obvious in nature to the person skill the claim do not related to the invention and the mass mode is not disclosed in the complete specification that time you can be go with the objection now patent infringement occurs the patent infringement occurs when the manufacturer in case of the manufacturer sale or the import of the patent invention without the permission from the patent owner but use of the patent from the government will not be constituted into the infringement so protection granted by the patent so monopoly on the invention typically a period of the 20 years from the application and no protection on a description now importance of the patent so why we uh, why we are going with this point with the patent so patent is provided the exclusive rights to the owner second patent provides a competitive advantage for their invention third they can be increase the profit or the returns and the next additional revenue streams from the licensing technology you can be transfer the technology and the new market exposure so these are what these are the application of the patent and hence we can be go with the patent in with the new procedure thank you